Operant conditioning is a way of learning that uses rewards and punishments to shape behavior. B.F. Skinner, a famous psychologist, developed this idea in the 1930s. This method helps us understand why people and animals behave in certain ways. How operant conditioning works? Operant conditioning is based on the idea that behaviors can be changed by, by their consequences. If a behavior is followed by a good result, it is more likely to happen again. If a behavior is followed by a bad result, it is less likely to happen again. Positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement means giving a reward to encourage a behavior. For example, if you get a good grade and your parents give you money, you are more likely to study hard again. The money is a positive reinforcement. Negative reinforcement. Negative reinforcement involves removing something unpleasant to encourage a behavior. For instance, if you have a headache and take medicine that makes the pain go away, you are more likely to take the medicine again. The removal of pain is a negative reinforcement. Positive punishment. Positive punishment is giving something unpleasant to stop a behavior. For example, if you touch a hot stove and get burned, you are less likely to touch the stove again. The burn is a positive punishment. Negative punishment. Negative punishment involves taking away something good to stop a behavior. For example, if you stay out too late and your parents take away your phone, you are less likely to stay out late again. Losing your phone is a negative punishment. Real life examples. Operant conditioning is used in many places. Teachers use it in schools. If a student answers a question correctly, the teacher might praise them. This praise makes the student want to answer more questions. Parents use operant conditioning at home. If a child cleans their room, they might get extra playtime. This extra playtime encourages the child to clean their room again. Benefits of operant conditioning. Operant conditioning is useful because it helps people learn new behaviors. It can also help stop unwanted behaviors. For example, if a dog is rewarded with treats for sitting on command, it will sit more often. If a child is praised for sharing toys, they will share more often. Challenges of operant conditioning. While operant conditioning is powerful, it is not always easy to use. It requires consistency. Rewards and punishments must be given every time the behavior happens. If they are not, the behavior may not change. It is also important to choose the right rewards and punishments. What works for one person may not work for another.